Hello everyone, this is Amanda Suri and today I'm going to show you the G route for the Etobicoke Drive Test Center. Now this is where the Drive Test Center is. You know, this is this is where you would park. You know, you you see these numbered spots here, 9, 10, 11. So you're gonna park here and you're gonna come out and as register yourself here at the Drive Test Center. So this is where the Drive Test Center is. Now Etobicoke Drive Test Center is uh, popular for a high fail rate. Now, it's it's really surprising, you know. The route is really straightforward, very easy, G2 route and G route, yet a lot of people fail. So, you know, I, I don't mean to scare you, but, uh, you know, I just want to caution you, you know. You want to be perfect when you, when you go for a test here. So, let me show you the aerial view. One thing I forgot to tell you was that when you go for a test, uh, when you park in these numbered spots, you want to park facing forward so that it's easier for you. You see all these cars are parked facing forward. Uh, this car is probably done with the test. That's why, you know, these cars are parked like this. But, you know, uh, a lot of people do not know this, but driving instructors always park facing forward um, because it's not a good idea to start by reversing. So you start the test and you come out here, you know, you come out of the plaza this way, so you make a right turn. Now, it's a busy plaza here, so you want to yield to the oncoming traffic. If there are cars coming from here, then then you want to yield to them. So you make a right turn here and you make a full stop here. You can't miss the stop sign. And then you make a left turn onto this street. Now, now there used to be a stop sign here. You know, I think they have taken it off. So, you know, this is good for you, actually. You know, there's a stop sign. There's a two-way stop sign here and here, which makes sense. Earlier, there was a stop sign here. A lot of students used to miss the stop sign and they would fail. So now it makes sense, you know, uh, you know, not to stop here. So you keep going straight and you stop. So at this stop sign, you have to make a full stop before the sidewalk, okay? So do not go up here and stop right so you sometimes there are pedestrians coming from here or here so you want to yield to them so you make the full stop here count to three and then you creep up a little bit and then you'll have to merge with the traffic on Eglinton Avenue West so you're gonna make a right turn here now keep in mind there could be cars coming from here right uh, sometimes some people fail on this street because uh, there are cars coming here and they slow them down so you want to be sure that you would be able to get up to the speed when you turn in front of a car so be careful here right so they're very picky here so so do everything right hey if you're new to this channel then make sure you check out other videos in the video section of this channel and also check out the playlists for different types of videos and if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet then make sure you hit that subscribe button so you make a right turn onto edlington avenue now at one point this road used to be 70 kilometers per hour but they changed it to 60. So I'm assuming the speed is still 60, but you don't see a speed sign here. So since you don't see a speed sign, you're going to drive at 50 kilometers per hour. Now here, they could ask you to switch lanes because it'll be a while before you make the turn, make the next turn. So here it is. I was talking about this speed sign. So it is actually 60 kilometers per hour. So, you know, as soon as if you've been driving at 50 kilometers per hour, then you can get up to the speed of 60 as soon as you see the sign. So you drive at 60 on this road. You know, your lane changes have to be really smooth. Now, if you haven't watched my lane changing video, make sure you watch it. I've shared some tips on how to switch lanes smoothly. I'm sure those are going to help you. So you keep driving straight. Now here at this intersection uh, the lights for Renforth and Eglinton you would see the right turn lane so you'll have to get into the right turn lane to make the right turn onto Renforth so here at these lights coming up Renforth Avenue so here at these lights coming up Renforth Drive you're gonna make a right turn so you want to get into the right turn lane from where it begins Again, it's a very busy intersection. There could be pedestrians and cars from this side, so you gotta watch out. So you will creep up uh, for making a right turn. You'll creep up to here, then look on your left and right, and then make a safe right turn. Make sure you go around this 
dot you know you you can actually turn into this one right so dotted line means you can you can get into this lane so you make a but i would advise you know not to get into this and go around this to make a right turn and uh, right here you see uh, right at the intersection you see this sign says school safety zone so you know a lot of people drive really fast on this road because they've been driving at 60 so you know they think that the speed is going to be 50 or more than that right and uh, this is where they fail but you want to drive at 40 here I'll show you the speed sign so you you know that there's a bike lane you have to share the road with bikers and soon you're gonna see a speed sign that says 40 kilometers per hour you won't believe one of my students failed here for going like 43 kilometers per hour uh, just for just for a few seconds so this is how picky these examiners are at this drive test center so you have to be very careful so there is a school coming up uh, you're going to be driving around the school for for some time so keep it at 40 here you know this this road is empty and you get tempted to drive fast on this road but to not do that right so keep very slow you're, you're it's actually gonna feel very slow when you drive a 40 here there would be cars zipping by you but do not get tempted to accelerate so keep it at 40 here so there's a crosswalk here if the lights are on you know that you have to stop you know you can stop anywhere before the, the the pedestrian crosswalk so you stop here and you you go when the, the pedestrians have crossed now here they would ask you to switch lanes you know and uh, be prepared because uh, you will have to make a left turn at the lights coming up so these are the lights you see the pizza pizza sign here uh, you can come back here and have the pizza celebrate your your uh, victory and the road test so this is where it is you turn left onto the Erin gate so this is the school right so this is where the school is on Erin gate and you're going to be driving in this neighborhood for some time doing uh, all the maneuvers so again speed sign posted here right at the at the turn 40 begins uh, you were driving at 40 anyway so 40 begins 40 kilometers per hour you know if there's a truck here go around it you know be be careful so at the first stop sign here at this intersection you're gonna make a right turn onto Wellsworth Drive keep a speed limit of 40 here and then you're gonna make the first left turn here and then you're gonna make a left turn on the first street that you come across which is uh, Beckwith Road. On Beckwith Road, if they are able to find a car, they will ask you to do parallel parking here. Now, on Beckwith Road, they would ask you to do an emergency stop, right? A lot of people ask me, Herminder, what's the difference between a roadside stop and an emergency stop? They're both the same. There's no difference, right? So, so a roadside stop or an emergency stop means you have to pull up, pull up on the side of the road, make sure that there's no fire hydrants or you're not blocking any driveway, and uh, you know you put on the flashers, pull the handbrake, and put it in park, right? So uh, here there's a link to emergency stop video. Make sure you watch it, and uh, that will be followed by a three-point turn. So you do a three-point turn again. You have, if you haven't watched that three-point turn video, make sure you watch it, and uh, you go back and you make a right turn so you make a right turn on wellsworth drive so drive at 40 on this road and then again at the stop sign which is an always stop sign you're going to make a right turn onto erin gate erin gate drive and you keep going straight now while driving on erin gate you will come across this sign says 50 begins right i think after the school zone ends you know uh, they they come back to the regular speed which is 50 so you know you're you're gonna have to drive at drive at 50 just for a bit before you hit the highway so this is where you enter the highway from and i want to show you the aerial view actually you know so that you better understand what to expect on the highway i wanted to show you this view so look at this right this lane is long right the acceleration lane is really long 
So you will get a lot of time to get up to the speed. So actually, you know, from here, I would start accelerating and try to get up to 100. The speed limit on 427 is 100 kilometers per hour. So you try to get up to 100 and then you switch. You know, you have up to here to switch to the left lane. Now, the tricky part here is now for people who haven't driven on this road or on this route, they don't know that, you know, both these lanes are going to end. So that's a tricky part here. So this lane is going to end here. And then you get into this lane and see, look at this. This lane is also going to end. So you'll have to switch like three lanes. So be prepared for that. Maybe this is the reason why people fail. You know, they have to switch multiple lanes. But hey, you know what? If you practiced a lot on the highway, it should not be a big deal. And uh, usually this road is not that busy. This side of the road is not busy. This side definitely is, but this side is not that busy. Uh, but you never know what to expect, right? So, but be prepared to switch two times, right? Because both the lanes are ending. A lot of people do not know that. So, so you get into this lane and then you keep driving and you're going to keep going, keep going, keep going. Now on the highway, they could ask you to switch lanes and then you're going to get into the right lane here, which is for Burnethorpe Road. Now on Burnethorpe Road, they will most likely keep you in this lane, uh, most likely in the leftmost lane because you want to turn left at the lights coming up. Now this now this yellow speed sign says 60 kilometers per hour. Know that yellow signs mean a recommended speed limit. Uh, even if you are slightly over the speed limit, it is still okay. So you follow the lane and if you if you were in the right right lane, it is still good uh, because you know it, it is actually going to help you because you know yeah, it's good to turn from from uh, the second lane from the left because you have to go back to the highway. So most likely you will be in this lane where this car is because these two lanes are turning right. So you turn left and when you're turning left, make sure you stay in your lane. A lot of people, you know, because of these faded lines, uh, they, they, try, they get into the first lane. So do not make that mistakes. Always stay in your lane and know that right after turning left you'll have to switch all the way to the right because you're going to go back on the highway so let me show you the aerial view so you turn left here you go into the right lane and then you know that you know from here you have to get back onto the highway to go back to the drive test center so you get in here you drive at the recommended speed speed limit whatever it is uh, so you you turn and from here again as soon as your car straightens out you start to get up to the speed here there would be a lot of cars coming um so and and this is not a very long acceleration lane so it ends here you know so you have from 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 this point to this point to get up to the speed so you'll have to quickly get up to the speed make sure you signal you, you know i would signal here at this point, I would signal and, uh, uh, you know, let the cars know of my intentions so that, you know, if there are cars coming here, they will get out of my way and let me switch lanes smoothly. So you try to get up to the speed and switch lanes and uh, just keep driving on this on this road. So here, you know, you would see these signs. These are, these are really confusing. So you want to stay on, on the left-hand side. Follow signs for Eglinton Avenue West. You're going back. So, and uh, as soon as you pass that sign, you're going to see a right turn lane here. So you get into this lane to take the exit. So you're taking Eglinton Avenue West exit. The recommended speed on this road is 30 kilometers per hour. It's a, it's a sharp bend. So you want to keep it at 30 or, or maybe 40. But, uh, you know, don't drive too fast. Make sure you stay between the white and the yellow line. And then know that you have to get into this white lane, uh, you know, this lane to make a right at the intersection. So be prepared for it, right? The examiner could ask you to go into the right lane. So here you are. So you make a right turn onto Eglinton Avenue West.
Again, a busy intersection. If you're making a right on a red light, make sure you look on the left before you make a right turn. And right at this intersection, there's a speed sign posted. It says 60 kilometers per hour, and we know Eglinton is 60. So you drive at 60 here, and uh, you keep driving straight on this road again. You know, it'll be a while before you get back to the drive test center. So they could ask you to switch lanes on this road also. So here we are back at the drive test center. Now they could ask you to get into this left lane and make a left turn here, uh, which you'll, ha you'll have to be careful about. Or they could take you here at the these lights. So you get into the left turn lane here and you make a left at these lights onto Rakeley Court and and then you get into the plaza here. Now drive slow here. I would keep it at, you know, 25-ish uh, on, on this street because there are a lot of pedestrians on this road, pedestrians and cars. Uh, so you're back at the drive test center here. Now, one thing I forgot to tell you in the beginning was that, you know, there the drive test center here has arrangement for parallel parking. So they, they have pylons set up here. Let me see if I can show you that. You see, there are pylons here. Uh, this guy is doing parallel parking. So they will ask you to do parallel parking between these pylons. So you won't have to do parallel parking on the street. So you either start with the parallel parking right in the beginning of the test or you end with uh, parallel parking. So 99% chances that you would not do reverse parking. So it'll be a forward parking here. After you've done the test, they would ask you to just park anywhere here and they would share the results. So make sure you watch my video on how to do parallel parking between two pylons. So I'm posting a link here. And uh, that's the end of the test, my friend. So again, Etobicoke is a, a slightly tough drive test center. So make sure you practice well before you go there. All right, I hope you found value in this video. If you did, then do not forget to give me a like. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you again with another video, my friend.